Hey, what's up, guys? Thank you for the invite, Drunk Sports. Thank you so much for inviting me to the show. No doubt. Appreciate it. We almost out of here. Um, I want to hit two 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 points before we go. Um, these are these are big in the world of boxing. Um, Subrio Matias signs with Eddie Hearn. You kind of saw it coming. I think there was a video of Eddie Hearn and him. Uh, I don't know. They were somewhere. I can't remember. It was a couple months ago. Um, and he was trying to talk shit about T. You remember that video that was circulating? He was talking shit and Eddie Hearn was in the picture. You knew you knew Eddie was scheming on him. You know what I mean? <laughs> scheming on him. You know what I mean? Trying to steal, steal Bob Arum's work. Um, but uh, he goes over to 140. And, I mean, you alluded it to a little bit earlier. One four, I mean, goes over to uh, 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 um, Match Room. Match Room. And, um, yo, 140 seems to have, uh, I mean, match room and the, actually the zone seems to have like a stranglehold on 140. Do you like Subri going? I mean, you have to like him going over there. What do you think the play is now? Because we have, listen, shout out to my guy Hitch. We saw Hitch the other night. I'm a big Hitch guy. Um, he has a, 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 a an eliminator coming up, right? IBF eliminator coming up with Gustavo's Lamones, right? Yep. Yeah. He gets through that. He's in line. I know IBF has that ridiculous rehydration shit and all that. He don't seem to have a problem with it, I guess. Hitch could be in line for that IBF strap. A lot of people want to teal. Don't think that's going to happen. Hitch could be in line with that, but not to get ahead of myself, where do we see Subrio going? And what do you, how do you think the 140 landscape plays out with the zone kind of getting the stranglehold on that? So one thing that's important to note as well in, in the latest update Yeah. When the signing for Matias was announced, some speculated that um, what's this guy, Liam Paro, was going to be his opponent in a comeback fight or a home. Just smoke Montana Love, right? Yeah. Yeah. However, it's already been noted that uh, Paro is out reportedly, so that only leaves a, a few. First of all, we're not even sure that the Puerto Rico fight is guaranteed, but suppose it happens. It only leaves a few opponents, mainly Barbosa or Ramirez, right? Um, mm-hmm. But you mm-hmm. talk, and because those guys are with Golden Boy, but they're on the zone, that's plausible, right? I yeah. don't, I don't know. It's you know, are those guys a stepping stone, or do they go? It's all Matias. I'm talking. Or do they go directly to a Regis Proger, right? Because we got to talk about fighters that are ranked and that can make the. So I'm I'm just pulling you know straws out of hat because yeah. ultimately that's what's over at 140. Oh, I'm sorry. Um, we do know Devin Haney's over there too, right? Yeah, yeah Devin busy though. Okay, but what I'm saying, yeah. suppose there's a long term investment for having picked up Matias and say we can give you some stay busy. Look, and then we just talked about hits, right? Yeah. There's a lot going on at 140, so I don't yeah. necessarily know what's next. But um, if Liam Paro is out, I'd say either Barbosa or um, Ramirez are great opponents. And then after that, um, maybe the winner of Hitch Lemos. I don't know. Let's play fantasy boxing real quick. Okay. Catterall's busy, right? About him. So you thinking of what he about to fight Josh Taylor for the He's second He's about to do time. that rematch. Uh, I like. I think stylistically, I think you hit it on the head. Um, pause. Um, I mean, I think Regis would be the best stylistically for that. Would be a sexy fight, bang out in the middle of the ring type shit. You know what I mean? Um, both of them are very hittable. Both of them like to get hit. You know what I mean? Uh, yeah, I think I think I think Pro Grade since since Pyro pulled. I didn't even know Pyro pulled that. Liam Pyro, but um, I think Pro Grade. Uh, I'm looking at it. I'm looking at the IBF. Garcia is obviously busy. Catterall is busy. Hitch has a title eliminator. You mentioned Barbosa. Let's go. Ramirez. Ishmael Barroso. Those those would be easy fights because, like you said, they're. I mean, Barbosa's with Golden Boy, right? Yeah. Yeah, and then they're Barosa, both with Golden uh, Boy now. Bump. He let, Ramirez left left top rank, right? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, Ishmael Barroso. Barroso's with Bump though. I'm excuse me. He's fighting um Roley. No, Roley's about to fight Isaac Cruz. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So Barroso, yeah, yeah. Barroso, 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 because he's got the belt, right? That looks yeah. like easy pickings for Matisse, with which it's not because he hits hard, but they have a chance to put on a classic, and the chance the chances that Matisse loses that fight are slim to none because either the judges will cheat 
uh, him to victory like they keep doing when he fights Raleigh or he will uh, knock him out because he, he's, he's a little bit older fighter and he's got the power. So now he's got another strap. He's got the WBA and the IBF if he mm -hmm. wins. Mm -hmm. And then he looks like, oh, I want to unify because guys will want to unify after he does something like that. And then all he's he's all he's got to do is just kind of sit back after that because I'm, I got two straps. Y'all scared of me? Who want to really fight for real? I, I, and call them out. You know, I don't think it's likely right now. But if we're talking fantasy boxing, um, my bad. We talking fantasy boxing. I think you know we 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 basically talking IBF route right now. But if we're talking like. To me, Tio is the best matchup for him. I think stylistically, I think Tio eats his food, in my opinion. You know what I mean? He's not going to run around the ring. We saw how much problems he had with Jermaine Ortiz. And we'll get it. That's going to be.